In this video, we're going to cover how to connect power supplies in series. You know, with so many standard power supplies that are available in the marketplace, one would ask, why would you want to connect power supplies in series? Here are a few benefits in connecting power supplies in series, and here are some of the common reasons. One is that you want to achieve a higher power without having to connect the power supplies in parallel and worry about current sharing. When you connect power supplies in series, since they're in a series configuration, they will already have the same current flowing out of them. This makes sharing of the power very easy as long as each of the voltage set points are very close to the same. When there's a requirement for programming the current limit in the system, only one power supply would need to be controlled for that current limit, since they're all in the same loop. Now, another reason is that you need to obtain a voltage that isn't quite available in or out of a standard power supply. So connecting power supplies in series and then adjusting each power supply to their specified output, you will get a combination of the voltages that will satisfy your system requirements. In order to connect power supplies in series, we always recommend to use the same power level for each power supply. We also want to ensure that when you're using power supplies, you're using isolated power supplies. This means that each output of the power supply is not physically connected to an earth ground. Now we want to start by connecting the negative output of power supply one to the positive output of power supply two. As we see in this diagram, when we use the positive output of power supply one, we put that to the load, and then the negative output of power supply two also gets connected to the negative end of the load, and this completes the circuit. Now, as an extra precaution, we recommend that diodes are placed in a reverse bias configuration across each output, as shown here in this picture. The reason for the diode configuration is to protect each output from going into a negative polarity that's over 0.7 volts should one of the outputs of the power supplies be shut down. When connected to inductive loads such as motors, the energy from the motor during a deceleration would also find a conduction path across these diodes. Connecting power supplies in series can offer many benefits and it's important to keep in mind other parameters that power supplies would have such as EMI or startup conditions or leakage current. And everything would depend on what type of load you're powering. For more information on connecting power supplies in series or selecting the right power supply in your application, give us a call here at TRC. Thank you for watching and join us again on our next episode.